Hi everybody, welcome for another Whiskey Mystery. I'm Phil. I'm Deba. And in the chat before, we got Roman to ask where to pick the bottle from. And I think, uh, I think we were bottom, bottom. all the way over. I think that makes it oh. right in the corner, the unloved one, right? And actually this is going to be, we haven't been putting numbers on the bottles. This one is actually going to be our 60th uh, blind tasting. Oh, hang on. Skip ads. <laughs> Skip our own ads to do our, our monitoring. So, um, 60. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> You you keep chat uh, keep check on the chat. Drop the eye, see. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's another. Oh, it's like a another light one. But I'm seeing oh, a lot it, of bubbles already. It could be a 50, 50 pound ABV. We just want to get the pours in first, and then we'll do a little bit of chat. Hmm. You smell so good. Okay, let's see who's in. So I saw Tim Donna pass. Uh, Lucky Luciana was in again. Sure. Can you can you guess another? Yeah, Roman, another that's funny. Roman's in. Rod, Steve A, Flying Hussars back in. Sunday evening Scotch. Yeah, another another light one. <laughs> the the camel. Camel. Hi from Germany. Great. Uh, what was that? And Mike Lee. Hi, hi Mike. So um, okay, let's let's go in with our ABV shake test. Just got to be a little careful on that pour. Just from the uh, the initial pour, it did look like it could be high ABV. So, what are we going to get? Ooh, yes. So, a bit of whiskey abuse, but it looks like that's going to be over 50%. And... It also looks like it could be quite old, or at least oily, because look, they, they really are hanging around for a long time. If uh, you can get to the spreadsheet, the link is in the chat there somewhere, and you can have a look. So, But I'm gonna quickly reorder it by ABV again. And uh, if you look at it, probably scroll down to anything above 48 <laughs> and start guessing. Um, are you already, you already no, drinking? No, 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 I'm, I'm it. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a good one. No, it's, it's different, it's not our best. Okay, let's go over, let's go over some basics. So, is it high ABV? Yeah, uh, 50, 50, Okay, so around the 50. Or maybe 54. The colour is clear, obviously, and light. So probably not sherry, probably a refill bourbon barrel. Just guessing off the colour. Let's see. We haven't really talked about legs much, have we? Here we go. We'll use we'll use Roy's glass. Can you see any legs? It actually looks pretty thin in terms of legs. I'm not seeing Oh well, now I take it back. Sometimes when they're thick enough that it really coats. Okay, no. Thick thick legs. It could be oily. Yeah. Okay, have we got any... Uh, you you check the comments and uh, I'll have a little nose. Oh, fruit. Wow. Almost got like apple cider. <laughs> any uh, it, any questions? It's That's it. To up the app. I, I hope I have any of these you're reviewing to pour as my last dram for tonight. Oh, I see. That's from... Oh. Aware Kwame. <laughs> that was said really badly. Uh, it's, it's a PD. I'm not sure. I don't think it's PD. I know, often with these but, light but ones. I'm getting so you can have me from Aya. Hang on, let's see. Let's empty this glass out and see what we get. No, it's not really PT. No, but maybe from Ireland. Is it's there a, any PT? A dust of smoke. Hi, David. You haven't, you haven't missed anything yet. But it'd be very uh, old. 
Yes, it's not spirity. It's got a little bit of the the old pencil shavings and, uh, about it. Uh, uh, fermented pineapple. Fermented pineapple. Yeah, I said I got almost like apple cider on the very first waft of it. Okay. Let's see, Lucky's in with the first guess. Uh, um, Annandale Man of Words, single cask. Well, that bottle is only a three-year-old whiskey. Pretty sure it, this would be older. It, it could be Annandale. Uh, yeah, but I think this is older. Hey, Scotch for Dummies. I have no fun here. No coconut. Oh, on this, this empty glass is getting a little musty, a touch funky. Mm -hmm. Now that funkiness, it's sometimes the tiniest bit of peat. But this has got that little bit of slight cheesiness, I think. And maybe a bit of white fruit. Yes. But more from a different White fruit. White fruit and... It's, it has an integrated fine oak. So I'm going... Oh, I get a fine, fine a pepper, quickly a pepper. I'm going to refill bourbon. As my the guess. Maybe of oak. Yeah. Now, is the taste basically fruity or something else? It's it more grassy. Mm. The fruit. Uh, more is grassy old. fruit. Cheesiness. What about Springbank 14 bourbon? Mm, Let me 14, think. But be it's possible. Mmm. It would be a very, I could almost be convinced. And the truth of that from the Dummies. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Deeper scene drew in there. No, but I'm and getting I'm... a little fruity. I'm getting more fruity than Springbank Funk. A very light caramel on the finish. And I'm getting Ooh. a dry, astrophant. Quite dry. Let's see, are we guessing what's in there? Yes. We're uh, trying to guess. A bit of the fruit. It's a bit a woody bitter. at the end. So quick, quick refresh. We're thinking refill bourbon, over fifty percent, or cl it's close to fifty, and probably old, eighteen plus, I think. So it could be an independent bottle, right? Mm -hmm. Old malt cask, old particular, those types uh, of bottles. Then it's more grassy, more sherry. Now we need to try and get some more. Flavour notes out. Yeah, it's quite light. I got a touch of breadiness that time. Uh, it's not too complex. Not but too complex. It's deep enough. Okay, I'm going to... Let me go and read out some things that are on the spreadsheet for people who can't get there. I'll just start at 48%. Longmorn 16, Macallan number 4, no. Compass Box, Flaming Heart, no. No Is Compass any Boxes. Any No, no Fanny. Um... Springbank's no, not that is. one. Brook Claddies. Uh, I don't uh, think so. Is the proper uh, more when you want? It could be. Here, uh, I think it's, in. Yeah, I think it's in that Longmorn Twenty One type. Let's see, Brook Claddie, Kilhoman. No, because we're not getting any smoke. And no spice. Oh. No spice. No alcohol. Uh, 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 the long, the Longmorn Twenty One at fifty percent. Now let me see. Is it, is it peppery? Longmorn's normally peppery, isn't it, is in the it, second uh, half? about iron buck? That fact that it is in. I don't know that suffer from iron buck. Well, it could be a Highland Park if it has no uh, sherry in it. It could be because I don't, uh, and smell okay. a bit of suffer. So no... We also have a Jura, a 24-year-old Jura. Could be that, let's see. We have a Glenallachie 25. I don't know what that would be like. Don't think Glen Scotia, <laughs> don't think Long Row, don't think Nika. Invergordon single grains, bring back local barley. Ooh, Colila, no. Tobermory, there's a Tobermory 22-year-old. That's an old malt cask. Okay. Then we're getting up into the higher ABVs. That's right. so many recommendations. What do we got? Uh, <laughs> if you hold no, the no, glass no, close to the microphone, it. we can sniff it. out. <laughs> yes, good idea. Here we go. Can you can you get it? Mmm. And I'm back, 
I don't think we have a Bal Blair yeah, that's that high. Play. I don't think it's that high. Okay, you keep doing a few tasting notes. Yeah, but, but, I'll pull down a couple of these bottles. <laughs> no, you say it, okay. and I'll, I'll shout. Uh, Let's see. Garen, it, that is more smoky than this, I think. Yeah, it's not robust like a Kilcaren 8 would be. See, here's, oh, a, it could be the, here's a Tobermory uh, 22. But, but in, in, for, getting back, let's spend your button. When you buy East Brown, I think it's more well, yellow. Well, we think that the ABV is higher as well. Is it when you buy No, I don't think so. Let's see, what's that? There's a Glen Allocky. It's a proper in forgotten 31 degree. I don't know if it's that green. Uh, do we have that? <laughs> in forgotten. I'll have to look. Okay, keep going. Where's that other, uh, where's that other one I'm looking at? It can be old and uh, iris. It can be old and uh, iris. Longmorn. Uh, what's this other old boat cast we have? What's that? It's a. I don't know. Uh, it's put up with the iris. There's a there's a Blair Athol twenty two. Papa old and it can be more not. I'll put these more I'll, iron. I'll put these down for now. Okay. Uh, don't, Papa. I don't think we've been. I don't think we've been that helpful with with flavour notes because we haven't really said that much, have we? I am the taste is the grassy. Royal Brackler. Mm, but but get bucky, you know, not get bucky, uh, get bucky, you put to speed. I think it's well, we yummy. we had a sherried one, so we don't think there's any sherry, right? Royal Brackler. Here you go. Let me. Uh, there's there's the shake test again, so you can see there's really good good bubbles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fifty, fifty one. Could be a Bal Blair. Do we have a Bal Blair that high? I don't think. Oh, I see. There is a Royal Brackle. Why? It's fifty eight percent. Where's that one? <laughs> uh, it's not that one. I see the Royal Brackle is a sharing bottle, so I've got this stand in printout of it. Yeah, it could be a dependent. Mm, but the colour, ooh. <laughs> Probably not, right? I'll set that one aside. Okay, let's go back to notes. Is it especially fruity? Let's see. It's not very really fruity. So on the nose, I get fruit. It's not particularly strong. It's somewhere between a very light banana it, and um, red a, a apple. Stem. Green stems, slightly but green. Bar. Oh, but there is this nice oak spice underneath that light fruit. That's got to be old. But it is yummy. Mmm. Mmm. nice. I have to ask it again. Yeah. Oh, it's quite. It is quite dry. Yeah, yeah. It's quite tight. There's not a strong amount of flavours. It's one of those ones where you have slight maltiness, slight fruitiness, and slight pepperiness, very nicely integrated. Yeah. But which... the first half is shot more, and then that sweetness disappears. The upper half a, a bit darker. And it's it doesn't taste hot. You know, it doesn't taste strong. No, but I'm getting very fine pepper. Mm. Oh, it's a grassy, fruity, gummy old ant. Let's see, uh, Lowlands. It's fruit, uh, Let's see, who's saying? Uh, Emery. I think we've only got Lowlands. We have a Bladnock, but I don't think we have anything in the high ABVs. Gark. Most probably it's bourbon gark. Yeah. I don't think there's any sherry in it. Oh yeah, hang on, where's that Invergordon single grain? I didn't bring that one down, did I? Could it be that? Gotta be a, I've gotta have a fake box for it up here somewhere. What's that one, 63, 52. Uh, I, can't, <laughs> I, can't, I can't see my fake bottle. Ah, uh, okay, the Invergordon single grain is another sharing bottle. So we have our little cardboard stand-in bottle. Again, that one looks like a sherry. Yeah, so probably not, right? Okay, are we 
Are we ready for the first coin? I thought or should I twenty four? Yes. Okay. Here's the Jura twenty four. Let me read it for you. Um, twenty four think... years in oak barrels. That's not very helpful. Uh, oh no, refill bourbon. At that one. So what I have on the table here is. Oh, it's a spiff. Blair Athol twenty three, but that's fifty nine percent. I think that's too high. We have a Tobamori 22 at 54%, maybe a bit high. The Jura is at 50%. The Glenallachy 25 is at 50, well, 0. 0.6. There's a few point numbers in here. And then we have a Longmorn 21-year-old uh, at 50%. Except them recommend more when you want. So. Are we ready for uh, our first clue? Let's see, Scotch for Dummies. I'm guessing that's Drew. So Drew is going for Jura. Uh, Sunday Evening Scotch is sticking with the Longmorn. Bill, oh, Bill, local barley. I wish it was local barley because we absolutely love local barley, the ones that we've tasted. It's not local barley because it's not those big, powerful, deep malt notes. Um. I think it's a funny as shot. I prefer oh, I just it got me that old. Try Ketra. Uh, you're just catching up? Well, we have a high ABV. 50% refill barrel something that we think might be old. How many years? It was this money for. It doesn't feel that old. Because the funny is got shot. Fruity. Light fruit into slight bitter tannic barrel. Not too much. Honestly, there's not a complexity of flavours, but they are very nicely integrated. I am going to go for... Okay. I'm with, I'm with the Longmorn team. Was that you, Drew? <laughs> Deepa? What are you going to go for? I think I'll go for a Tobamori. Okay. Because the north. Tobamori is on the Isle of Mull. It's an island. Mm, I've got both this. Okay. So Deepa's on Tobamori. So. That's right. You can put it. Put it in the shop. About here somewhere. The first clue then. Is everyone ready? <laughs> okay. You don't have any, so he's going to have Dallas go. <laughs> yeah, Dallas go, fine. Can't even find it on whiskey base, must be hard to find. Well, Stephen, it's, um, you know, these are all single casks, so who knows what we might be getting. ABV, here we go. It is, ooh, it's 54% approximately. Oh, I think it's 54. Oh, Deepa might have it. Let's see, the next clue, the next clue, it is 22 years old, <laughs> excitement, it cost us $98, it needed to score something like, oh we didn't do, we forgot to say where we'd put it on the shelf, come on. Oh yeah. I, I, put I liked it, I, I think I'm giving it a gold, I'd give it like a, a thumbs up, and I would put it, yeah, I would put it up here. Mm. It's not as good as, it's not as good as the Glen Talkers, but okay, maybe here. Mm. Looking down, yeah, but it's a top, it's a top shelf, middle kind of thing. Okay, what are we thinking? Let's just get to it. It is an island. <laughs> and ah! <laughs> <laughs> Who else, did anyone else pick Tobermory? Here we go. Tobermory, old malt cask. Another win for Deepa. <laughs> Fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I probably got, but I did the smoke. And I knew it would go, that is enough. So hang on, Tobermory. What's the peated Tobermory? Balekin or Edradara? I keep, I always get those confused. Uh, 
Peter Tobamori is Balecki. What's the answer? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's Lejeik. <laughs> I knew it was something Scottish. Has anyone had Tobamori? I'm thinking, would you want to... Let read the profile. Okay. Yeah. You read the profile. I don't know. It's green at this. Okay. I, I, so, go on. The nose is clean and fresh. Malted barley. Vanilla and a touch of sea salt. Palate, grassy with citrus and ginger. Quite fruity. Finish. Long and sweet, with a hint of smoke, is mm. the official taste. So let me, actually let me look. So, I think this is yet another win for um, single casks, isn't it? And a dependent. Now, this one, um, wow, 54.4%. It didn't taste quite as strong as that. And it's a 750ml bottle, so we have bought it here. And that tells me we would, would have bought this at... Um, uh, K&L, and we paid 98 with including taxes out the door. So $100, another $100 bottle. It's a very good value for money. Of the old malt cask. We've had great success with old malt casks. Look how many are up on our top section. I'm going to drop this one in here, I think. Nice. Good result. Would you buy another one? Mm. Would you buy another one? Mm, yes. Well, you can't because it's a single cask. <laughs> Try it again. Hmm. Very nice. It's got a beautiful sweet in it. It's soy, but, but oh, yeah. a little. The flavour goes a little tannic bitter. No, no, not, not yet. Towards it's the end. Oh, a super oh, chat. <laughs> another one. Oh. So, yeah. Cheers. I spot you born. Cheers, Scotch for dummies. And, and congratulations on your 10,000 10, subscribers. That was so good to see, and you deserve it. Let's see. We've probably missed a bunch of stuff. Let's catch up on the chat. Let's see. Donna Pass has, has a Tobemori 12. Oh, that would be interesting to compare. Oh, is Roy in? Hang on. Did we miss Roy? Hey, Roy is in. Oh, Roy. Oh, no, 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 no. We've got, we've got Cheers, Roy. <laughs> and uh, let's see. Donna Pass. Has a Tobemori 12. Um, wish I'd gotten one of those of Bell, uh, Blair Athol 23s before they were all gone. Mm, hopefully it is a good one. You know, we probably bought this. I don't have the date on, on this one. If I went and got the bottle, we'd have the date. That's probably been on the shelf for about a year. Waiting, waiting to be discovered. Yes, first fill. Most, a lot of independent bottles are first fill bourbon. Um, I guess because they're a bit cheaper. You do get some sherry casks, but like I was looking in KLL and it's quite, it's quite unusual, the bottles downstairs. It's quite unusual to see um, sherry in independent bottles. And at KNL, I was seeing things like Tamdu, Glengoyne, which were in uh, refill hogsheads. So presumably no sherry, although they could be sherry hogsheads, but they didn't look like they had any sherry in at all. Scotch for dummies. I'm really digging my Blair Athol 11 year from Berry Brothers and Rudd. We had a nice visit. Remember Berry Brothers and Rudd we visited in London? It's sort of beside the castle-like building. Anyway. We went to visit Berry Brothers. It's very classic, uh, old school English where, you know, you walk in. It was the most calm and quiet shop, Berry Brothers. And the people serving had like leather, leather aprons. And it was the Ooh. only shop we went into where nobody asked us if we wanted help. They were politely there and they just let you get on with it. It was like... Yes, sir, whatever kind, kind of thing. We go and look around. And after a long time of being in there, someone would quietly come over and just say, are you finding everything that you're looking for, sir? Or, and then they'd go away again. It was so different mm. from, uh, you know, an American uh, shop experience. <laughs> but uh, I really like Berry Brothers and Red. And it's been around forever. Oh, I thought he got a very sharp cock 
at the at the airport. At the, the airport. The, the upper moon. We get stuck in it. At the yeah, at the airport duty free, where we showed interest in a bottle, and then, you know, the sales lady was just like hovering and hovering and hovering, and I'm like, it's okay. I'm just I'm just looking. Anyway, Berry Brothers and Rudd. If you want a classy shopping experience, what else am I missing? I think uh, I think that's about it. So it is uh, one twenty-five. Congratulations to Deepa for another another win. I think. But, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, and uh, she won by by picking out the Tobamori. Let's see if we can get it out in the middle of the shot there. <laughs> I'll prop it up on top of this glass. Oh. No, I think goes to Roy. And I uh, hope everyone's going over to Roy, Aquavite's afternoon session. And that will be in about uh, 20 minutes. So you have a little time to have a break and have a whiskey ready. We'll probably do another one Sunday, I think. We managed to get out for a run this morning. Oh, wow. It's a sweet and it's yeah. beautiful. You know, we didn't even put any water in. I had water. I had water when I was tasting. Now we're getting back into the whiskey chat. Is there any, um, you know, it's a button. Is there a bit dry at the end? Yeah, a little dry at the end. Does water make any difference? Hmm. Oh, lovely light fruit. Yeah. And then the little tannic bitter at the end. Takes the enjoyment off for me a little. Just a little bit too much of a switch to bitter. Okay. I think we're going to say goodbye. If it, if it's Roman, you thought it this. Oh, me. Roman? Oh, yeah. Roman picked the bottle. Did anyone actually get this one other than Deepa? That's the only thing. Did, it, did anyone else get it? I stop us, but actually remember, uh, brought that up. <laughs> anyway, if we missed you and you picked out the Tobe Mori, congrats, and we'll see you at Roy's in 20 minutes. Cheers, all. <laughs> Forgot. I've always got to get up and push the button. Bye.